Greetings, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for our latest presentation of NBA basketball. Alongside Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce on the sidelines. And let's see what the Brooklyn Nets have coming up. On Tuesday, they'll be playing against Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns. Then on Wednesday, they continue the road trip, heading out to Sacramento to take on the Kings. You hear this all the time, but a road trip is a great chance for a team to build chemistry on and off the court. Chemistry matters a lot in the NBA, and a trip like this can bring a team together. Well, this one's about to get going, but first, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Brian, thank you. Well, James Harden's one-on-one -on -one scoring ability is unsurpassed. He said, quote, I honestly can't tell you what I'm thinking. Nothing's predetermined. I just need one advantage. Whatever the defense gives me, I take it. And greatness happens after that. Thoughts? He is deadly, Allie. Thank you. And after a long offseason, both teams sure would like to kick things off with a win. Yeah, and don't forget, B.A., these early games count the same as the ones down the stretch. A hot start can make all the difference in building momentum and getting you to your ultimate goal. Now the opening lineup for the Brooklyn Nets. Kyrie Irving out there with Patrick Mills. Then it's James Harden. Then it's Nicholas Claxton. And it's Edwards in at the four spot. And for Phoenix... Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt. Bridges and Johnson are the forwards. And it's Biombo in at the center. And so off the tip, it's Brooklyn. Irving against Paul. Outside Harden. Here he goes. Oh, wow! <laughs> Check it out. Harden putting on a show. Throwing down an acrobatic dunk. Outside Paul. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. There's only one thing on his mind. Get to the rim and take the defense out of the equation. Paul with a steal. Down low. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Night after night, game after game, Chris Paul understands where to put the ball and when. Nicely done. Paul against Irving. Now here's Harden, guarded closely. Five to shoot, to the paint. Claxton down low. He's guarded by Bridges. And Claxton gets the bucket. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Outside Paul. Over Irving. Paul can't get it to go. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Here's Harden. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. Harden just loves scoring through contact. He seeks it out while trying to get fouls on his shooting attempts. You know, I'm not sure James Harden has ever been labeled a point guard, despite the fact that he's a great facilitator. But last year, boy, that's exactly what he became. He took that challenge and ran with it. For Brooklyn, they've gone three of three out of the gate. Harden against Bridges. And Edwards, here we go. Back to Harden. Takes a three. Another shot. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. And it was Kyrie Irving who vocalized that Harden should play the point. You never know exactly what Kyrie's thinking, but boy, his IQ is unbelievable. He knew the dynamic between himself, Harden, and Durant. And when he told James to play the point guard, that is when this team took off. And he drops the first. Oh. 
So hits one and misses one at the line. Couldn't put them in the lead, but at least does enough to tie it up. Here's Booker. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. Well, you love the lethal scoring ability off the dribble. Booker putting extraordinary pressure on the defense. Pass to Irving. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Well, you love the activity out there. What a play. This guy is busy on the offensive end. Up top, Biombo. Ten points in his last outing. Left side, Paul. There's a screen by Biombo. Puts it up from the high post. Again, the Sun's good for two. Well, to a good point guard, running the pick and roll in the NBA is second nature. Chris Paul's been doing this a long, long time. Outside for Irving. Edwards a screen on Paul. Stolen by Bridges. Pass to Paul. Biombo with it. Six to shoot. Blocked. They recover it. Paul can't get it to go. Brooklyn trailing. Here's Harden. Pass to Irving. Here's Claxton. Outside Mills. The Nets need to get off a shot here. Let's it fly from 18. And there's another one for the Nets. The Suns have gone 5 of 9 from the floor. Paul against Irving. A little mid-range shot is up. And it's good. Two points. Paul's got six. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot. Hot. Paul against Irving. Back to Mills. From the arc. Nets keep it alive. Claxton uses the glass on the layup. Claxton's gotten his second bucket of the game. The defense getting out-hustled on the putback. Can't let that happen. You have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box outs. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's his first foul. And great job to establish position and square up. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense positioning himself well to send it back. Harden against Bridges. Pass to Mills. Into the lane. Misses from short range. Boy, he did everything right till he got to the rim. He needs to finish that. The kick out to Johnson. The three. Kyrie Irving clears the rebound. The Nets have gone six of nine and finding their rhythm now. Outside Harden. Over to the wing. Oh, deflected. And as it goes out of bounds, Brooklyn able to keep possession. With a break here, let's see which teams racked up the assists during last year's campaign. The Suns third. Yeah, they were a fantastic passing team last year. It's part of the culture they're building. So many of their easy shots came at the end of a great assist. On the money from 12 feet away. Harden's got his third basket on the night right there. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Edwards against Johnson. Driving to the basket. That's tipped. Bridges outside. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. Irving, the pass to Harden. To the middle. Oh, he goes up high for the two-handed slam. 
Though he does have a scorer's mindset, Harden's vision and experience playing alongside some of the best talent in the league have made him an awesome playmaker. Pass to Biombo. There's the block. And he gets it back. Four on the clock. And the ball out of bounds. Last touch by Edwards. Both teams will make substitutions. Two on the clock. And a deep three from Paul. And they turn it over. Shot clock violation as the buzzer sounds. Some changes for Phoenix. Smith comes in for Bridges. And Peyton is subbed in for Paul. Bembry, he's checked in for Brooklyn. The Nets with the lead. Outside Harden. Pass to Griffin. It's tipped. Outside Booker. To the wing on the left. Outside Peyton. Shoots over Griffin. Peyton's shot is good. It's really important, guys, that Alfred Peyton continue to make these shots. When he does, it makes this team so much better. Pass to Thomas. Driving inside. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Shooting one. Phoenix has gone only one of four from three-point land. Booker, the pass to McGee. Outside Payton. To the inside. Just five to shoot. McGee, a screen on Harden. And Payton, here we go. Perfect night so far, two for two. Well, that's really good strength on that finish by Alfred Payton. Nice job to embrace the contact. Pass to Harden. Launches it. And Booker pulls it down. The Sun's trailing. And while it can hurt you from outside, Devin Booker has a very rounded game with his shot. The yeah, last few years, Booker has taken more mid-range jumpers. He feels comfortable pulling up from anywhere in the half court. I mean, he's learning to take whatever the defense gives him. Boy, Devin Booker is just such an explosive force on the offensive end. He can take over a game each and every night he steps between the lines. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the oh, scoring so far break. for the take Nets. Some Two great shots. drives to the bucket for them tonight. Yeah, we've seen them burying their fair share of mid-range jumpers tonight, too. A good first half for them in that department. Ties it up, and his next one could give him the lead. Boy, when Booker gets locked indoors, he's as deadly as they come in the NBA. Well, the list of guys who've gone for a 70-point eruption is still very short. 20 points per game for almost the entirety of his career. This guy scores with ease. I don't care what defender you send it in. And now they lead as the free throw drops in for him. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. Here's Thomas. And they get it back. Here's Griffin. Aldridge up top. There's a screen by Aldridge. Here's Bembry. And the Nets miss again. 
And the Suns shooting an excellent 56% in this quarter. Peyton's shot is good. Peyton's got six points. Boy, you see the composure from Alfred Payton right there. Takes on the challenge. My goodness. Pass to Thomas. Shoots over Booker. The Suns clear it. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. I think expect them to go back to it because that's the kind of shot this offense is designed to generate. McGee finds Payton over Harden. And another basket for Phoenix. Perfect from the field this quarter. Gotta wonder how long he can sustain it. Brooklyn has gone 0 for 4 from deep to start this one. Pass to Harden. With the drive. He connects. And now he's 4 for 6 in today's game. And you know, you can't underestimate Harden's ability to blow by defenders. It opens things up for him on the offensive side. Now here's Booker. Unloads from 13. The offensive rebound. Smith no good. Brooklyn trailing. Now Harden. Pass to Griffin. And he drives in. And Griffin slams it in. On the drive, Griffin is great at using his frame, muscling off the defenders. 50 seconds left in the first quarter. And here is McGee. Six on the shot clock. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Pass to Harden. And count it. Now five for seven. He got right into the flow of this game, hitting five of his first seven shots. Now here's Booker. He's closely guarded. And Booker gets double teamed. Smith outside. Fires the three. No good there. From deep three-point range. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Suns ahead, leading by one. And back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And the imagination of Kyrie Irving finishing around the rim. He says it goes way back. I just go back to being in my backyard and, you know, just practicing all my layups or all my finishes. You know, that's what I go back to. I mean, this is when I'm in that situation. It's, I kind of feel like the attitude I get is this is what I do. Hey, can't you just picture Kyrie as a kid stretching the limits of his creativity? I can. <laughs> and legend has it, growing up, Kyrie's backboard had a corner busted off, so he learned to put spin on the ball to finish around it. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Suns. Hey, guys, they're passing the ball very efficiently here in the first half. Well, they've established their presence in the paint tonight also, and a lot of their scoring coming from down low so far. Ball and Booker, the talented backcourt. Bridges and Johnson are the forwards. And it's Smith in at the five. That's who's out there for Phoenix. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Thanks, Brian. Well, you want to talk about a super team. Last season, the Brooklyn Nets became the only team in NBA history to boast six players who made it all NBA over their career. Guys, the roster has changed just a bit, but make no mistake, this team remains loaded in a way we don't see too often. No question, Allie. Good stuff there. Thanks. Bridges on the attack. And that one's good. And it's a five-point Suns lead. If you overplay Mikel Bridges to take the jump shot, that's creating driving lanes, and he'll take advantage. The three from Aldridge. And Booker pulls it down. Booker's got four rebounds now. Bridges against Brown. 
Bridges outside. Smith outside. Out of bounds. It'll be Brooklyn's ball. And now a look at last season's most proficient free throw shooters. Number one, Chris Paul. Kyrie Irving is fourth. From the free throw line, those two were almost automatic last year. What great assets they are late in the game. Brooklyn's gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. It's deflected. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Bridges passes to Johnson. And the bucket counts, and he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. And we see teams that win in the regular season but can't translate that to the playoff stores. What are some of the reasons that can be the case? I mean, B.A., the first thing that comes to mind is the postseason we know is just a series of adjustments. We call them What's adjustments up? on adjustments on adjustments. Certainly it helps to have great shot makers. Being able to score when your first or second option is taken away because at that point, every defense takes away your best abilities as an offensive team. The Nets have got none of their first three shots to fall so far in the second. Brown against Bridges. Brown passes to Edwards. Right side Irving to end the run. Count it. The level of talent Kyrie Irving has is extraordinary. And his finishing ability, creativity, English at the rim, unreal. Out to the right wing. Biombo with it. And it's Mills picking him up. Irving against Johnson. Screen by Bridges. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. Johnson's got five points now in the quarter. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Irving, the pass to Johnson. Basket is good. Nice setup from Irving. Johnson's got his first basket. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in coming off that pick. Biombo, high post. Johnson on him. Biombo, good. And the Suns lead by eight. This guy is very solid close to the rim. Biombo knows when to be assertive on the interior. There's a screen. Here's Irving. And from the field after that one, three for four now. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Booker drawing the double. Paul against Edwards. Yes, it's good. Paul's got eight points. For Brooklyn, they've got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Irving against Paul. And that one's good. Irving. Well, Kyrie Irving has a well-earned reputation for making the difficult shots. That is beautiful. And Booker gets double teamed. Bridges finds Paul. Shoots over Johnson. And it's Phoenix with another. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. Some people don't give Chris Paul enough credit for his outstanding shooting, but he can knock it down. You can't give him any room. And so here's Phoenix. It's a five-point game. Bridges outside. Fires from deep. He buries it from three. He's got seven. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Johnson, no good off the front rim. Well, Grant, Chris Paul just gets more and more reliable as a shooter, even after all these years in the league. Yeah, I mean, he's always been smart with his shots, but he has great efficiency for a guard, and he could easily put up bigger scoring numbers, but that's not his focus. Piombo, good. And so far, there's been tremendous cohesion offensively this quarter. Pass to Johnson. Here's Irving. 
He's guarded by Paul. Here's the pick. Irving, that's good. Irving's got 11 here in the quarter alone. What I love about Kyrie Irving is there's no fear on the interior. This guy is looking for ways to score. And here's Biombo. Six points for him. Outside Paul. There's a screen by Biombo. Elbow shot on the way. Another one falls for Phoenix. Well, Paul can be consistent from that part of the floor. Defenses should know you can't allow his mid-range game to start cooking. Pass to Irving. Outside, Brown. Now Edwards. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. A big group substitution here for Brooklyn. Claxton, he's checked in for Johnson. Bembry comes in for Brown. Thomas, he's checked in for Mills. And it's Harden in for Irving. Well, the Sun's shooting an unreal 69%. Really special stuff here. Payton passes to Bridges. And there's the screen. Payton with it. He's picked up by Edwards. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. One thing we know about Alfred Payton, this guy has got supreme confidence. He will force the issue if he's this close to the cup. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Guys, when you're talking triple doubles, Alfred Payton might not be a name that necessarily comes automatically to mind, but he's top 40 all time in career triple doubles. Shows you how much of an impact he can have on games. Griffin, he's checked in for Edwards. Second free throw, no good. For Brooklyn, they've gotten six of 10 shots to drop in the second. Nice work. Pass to Claxton. Here's Thomas. Now here's Harden. Here's the three. And they forced the shot clock violation. Great D. Thomas has gotten just one of his four attempts from the floor tonight. And Peyton, here we go. The shot won't fall. Oh, excellent D there from Harden. Brooklyn has gone just one of four from downtown so far in the second. Griffin, a screen on Peyton. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Just an all-star level talent. I mean, stopping Harden from scoring is almost an impossible task at times. Shooting one. That's good from Harden. A nightly triple-double threat, Harden's level of creativity and incredible confidence makes him lethal. Outside Paul. Right at the free-throw line. Ooh, he's found his rhythm. Seven for ten and counting. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Here's Harden. Ooh, now seven for nine after that make. Inside Harden is such a tough cover. You know he's clever enough to turn any good defense into a foul. Outside Peyton. He shoots a three. Unable to get that one. So Brooklyn will take it the other way. Last time they met in Brooklyn. They lost the battle of the second units the last time these teams played and lost the game. Harden, the pass to Griffin. 
Shot clock at five. Outside Harden. Off the mark there with a three. The Suns leading. Outside Paul. Bridges outside. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Well, they're playing with fire, putting Mikael Bridges on the free throw line. This guy's so comfortable at the charity stripe. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. I love it. In attack mode. Drawing foul calls this quarter and getting to the free throw line. Bridges hits them both. Well, we all know this young man came out of college highly decorated, having won two national championships. And in the NBA, Mikhail Bridges has shown those were not flukes. This guy's got big-time talent. Griffin in the post. You know Blake Griffin's NBA career certainly didn't have humble beginnings. I mean, he won the slam dunk contest and Rookie of the Year in his debut season. He really hit the ground running. And he makes a first. Both shots good from the strike. They've been flawless at the line this quarter. They need to stay aggressive and keep drawing fouls. That'll help them chip away at the lead. McGee, a screen on Harden. Harden against Paul. Bridges outside. McGee, a screen. The leaner. And the layup is good off the glass. McGee's got the second bucket on the night. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Pass to Thomas. Shoots over McGee. Hauled in by McGee. Phoenix has gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Outside Peyton. We've got a minute 48 left in the first half of this one. Tries it from the top of the key, and the jumper is good. And it's a 12-point Phoenix lead. The Nets have gone 8 of 15 in the second. Here's Harden, and Harden with the slam. And I love how Harden makes scoring look effortless, filling it up in such a hurry. One sixteen left in the first half of basketball. Outside Paul. There's the triple. Sends it home from three-point land. Paul's got 11 here in the quarter alone. Well, a good first quarter leads to a dynamite second period. Harden against Payton. Fires at the elbow. Harden misses. Phoenix has gone two of three from the three-point line in the second. Paul passes to Bridges. Outside Paul. From the high post. The rebound by the Nets. 
We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Griffin's shot is off. Maybe he rushes that just a little bit, who knows, but he couldn't have gotten a better look than that. Peyton using his post moves to get the two points. Peyton's got 11 points. See, Alfred Peyton, even though he's defended well, makes sure to get off a quality shot. That's nice. Up top, Harden. The three is up. That shot is off. Ooh, Griffin with the steal. And it's in! Oh! Nails the buzzer beater! Are you kidding? And credit him for understanding the situation and coming through. And to me, the way you end quarters impacts how you end the game. It can go a long way between a W or an L. And so it's the Phoenix Suns in a good situation, up by 13 points to close the quarter. How about the way they've attacked the paint? This throwback approach is paying off. More 2K action in just a moment. Hello, folks. Well, it's been a virtuoso performance by Chris Paul in the first half. Lighting up the scoreboard. I bet you wish you had that feeling, AJ, even just once. Oh, I love that action. I know you wanted that. His teammates are going to him over and over, and for good reason. He's in the zone, and that's a special feeling. And getting back to the game at hand, a nod to two guys who have really brought it for their respective teams. Yeah, man, this is what we were hoping for. The two alpha dogs are squaring off. And when the team leaders are staring each other down, it's extra proud of the line. They're bringing out the best of each other. Down, boy, down. Thanks for tuning in. Now it's time to head back over to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. Chris Paul having a dominant impact in this game. I love how effortlessly he scored. The game just comes so easy for him. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. On the floor for Brooklyn. Edwards out there with James Harden. Then it's Kyrie Irving. Then there's Patrick Mills. And it's Claxton in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's just superior balance from the crafty guard. If you allow Devin Booker to get close, he's going to draw your contact. That free throw good from Booker. One of the most impressive things about Devin Booker has been his consistency. This guy is productive, and he is willing to carry the offensive burden. Now here's Mills, defended by Biombo. Cash, Mills with the bucket. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Well, he's attacking, he's forcing the issue, and that's simply stated a terrific play. Outside Booker. There's a screen by Biombo. Booker attacking. Soft touch off the glass. Booker's got 12 points. Oh, terrific body control. Booker gets hit on the drive, stays on balance to complete the play. Right side Irving. Outside Edwards. Takes the three. It's hauled in by the Suns. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Here's Bridges. Got a hand on it. Johnson against Harden. And here's Edwards outside. Knocks down the long J. He's got seven. Such a reliable threat from range. You'd think the defense might key on him a little bit more. 
Paul against Irving. And it's Paul off the drive. That one's true. And that's 9 for 12 for him now. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Now here's Irving. 13 points in the game. Here's Claxton. Shot clock at six. The drive by Irving. And Biombo with the block. Well, Biombo's calling card, right? A terrific shot blocker. Boy, put it in his vicinity. He's sending it back. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages them to keep attacking on the offensive end. The Suns have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Booker with it. 12 points for him. Shoots over Mills. And another basket for Phoenix. Well, you've got to be, as a guard, calm and in control on the interior. Devin Booker, so much confidence in his game. Pass to Claxton. To the wing, right side. Screen by Claxton. Here's Mills. And that one, good. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. It's Johnson with a drive. And rejected. Biombo with it. And Biombo slams it home. This guy's so good at rolling with purpose after setting the screen. That's what you want from Bismack Biombo. Irving a screen on Paul. Harden with it. And Johnson picks him up defensively. Harden misses. The Suns have gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. Bridges passes to Paul. Over Irving. And it's Phoenix with another. Well, the IQ is just at the top of the NBA game. Chris Paul so smart at getting to his spots. Pass to Claxton. Left side Mills. Lays it up and in despite excellent defense. Mills has got six here in the quarter. Impressive. I mean, challenging at the rim against length. You just have to love the aggressiveness. You have got to believe that you can score against size on the interior. How about the aggressive, assertive move there? I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. Brooklyn has gone just one of three from deep since the break. Now Irving. 13 points in the game. High post Claxton. He's against Bridges. Screen by Claxton. Irving for three. Oh, wow. Drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. Kyrie Irving so good at keeping defenders off balance. Earns a trip to the free throw line there. Nicely done. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Phoenix. All three game shots. long, they've excelled three with shots. their backs to the basket. Dominating on the low block. Now they've also jumped at every chance to attack the basket tonight. Just terrific penetration. And he hits the first of three. I'll tell you, man, Irving can do many things for your ball club. But at the top of the list, he's a tremendous shooter with great range and great confidence. Smith, he's checked in for Biombo. Aldridge is checked in for Brooklyn. Brown comes in for Harden. Second free throw is good. You know, if you were to hand select a player to take the last shot for you, no one would bat an eye if you chose Kyrie Irving. Ever since his shot over Steph Curry in 2016, Irving's been a legend. And some of it's his mental approach. People say he marches to the beat of a different drum. That may help him in those big moments. Outside Booker. Outside Paul. They double team Paul. For three, Bridges. Yes, and it's Booker with the setup. Booker's got three assists now in this one. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Here's Mills. There's the drive, and it's blocked. Paul against Irving. They double-team Paul. 
Pass to Bridges. The three is up. Another three for Phoenix. Back-to-back -back threes, making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. Outside Mills. Irving, the pass to Brown. There's a screen by Aldridge. It's Edwards on the wing. Stolen by Bridges. Right side, Paul. Paul draws the double. Smith outside. Bridges passes to Johnson. From outside, off the mark. Defense dodged a bullet that time. Total breakdown. Right side, Mills. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's his third foul so far. And one of the stories around the game, Doris, NFTs are non-fungible tokens. You see why they use abbreviations. But anyway, in essence, people are buying highlights. That's exactly right, B.A., combining technology and investing. And there's money to be made. Just simply not by me because I don't <laughs> understand it. Four on the clock. Here's Irving. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. Irving's got five points in the quarter. Well, I'll tell you, what a night. He has been efficient. He's been strong. Unfortunately, they're still fighting an uphill battle. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. In 2016, the NBA Players Association made history, voting to extend health insurance to retired players with at least three years of service. Chris Paul said, quote, they paved the way for our game. This is just the little that we could do. Whenever my tenure is up as president of the union, that will be easily the greatest achievement. Brian? Boy, that is big time, Allie. Good stuff there. Thank you for that. Count it. Good. Irving's got 20. Kyrie Irving is one of the most clever scorers in the game of basketball. And when he starts to feel it, it's going to be a long night for the defense. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. Outside Mills. Pass to Irving. Stolen by Bridges. And here's the fast break. And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. And it's time to give you a look at the top three-point shooting teams from a year ago. Brooklyn, second. Their three-point accuracy last year was exceptional, largely because of their patience. They would wait for the best look before pulling the trigger. And stolen by Aldridge. And now the Nets on the break. Here's Irving. The basket is good. Off the setup from Aldridge. 22 points for him. But what a wizard Kyrie is in the open floor. Utilizes his speed to help create open shots in transition. That's beautiful. Johnson passes to Bridges. Now Paul over Irving. Paul can't get it to go. Outside, Brown. Pass to Irving. Back to Mills. Down to five on the shot clock. Now here's Aldridge, covered by Smith. Aldridge with the bucket. Such a nice touch on the ball from Aldridge. He knows exactly how much power to put on the inside shot. Johnson passes to Smith. It's Booker on the wing. He's guarded by Mills. Outside Booker. Shoots over Mills. Good on the baseline, Jay. Booker's got nine points here in the second half. Well, for certain guys, the mid-range is not where you want to be. But for Devin Booker, it's money.
Some changes for Brooklyn. Griffin, he's checked in for Aldrich. Bembry comes in for Brown. And it's Thomas in for Mills. For Brooklyn, they've gone 8 of 12 from the floor in the third quarter. Pass to Thomas. Irving, a screen on Booker. Back to Irving. From the strike. Chalk up two there. Irving's got 11 points in the quarter. Well, I'm telling you, this guy is doing everything he can to get them where they want to be. He's been on a mission in this period. Fires for three. Booker can't get it to go. Well, he hasn't proven to be much of a floor spacer for them. He had the 1 3, but that was back in the first half. Takes it inside. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. They're doing some good work at the line this half. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Phoenix has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Pass to Booker. Up top, McGee. He's guarded by Irving. McGee passes to Payton. Rebound Brooklyn. Here's Thomas. Johnson with it. And here's Griffin outside. Hauled in by McGee. McGee's got four rebounds in the game. And here's Booker. He's got 16. Right side, Payton. Tipped. Griffin still possessing such incredible timing. Shooters have to be careful when he's on the prowl. Outside Irving. Outside Johnson. Here's Thomas. Nets keep it alive. Oh, McGee with the block. Outside Booker. Takes the elbow jumper and drains it. Booker's got 11 in the second half. Well, Devin Booker, one of the rare guys in the NBA, the ability to score at will, and he's rolling right now. Now here's Irving. He's got 24. Charity stripe shot. It's hauled in by the Suns. Smith's got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Booker. And 101 left to play in the third quarter of basketball. The ability to drive with either hand. Booker gets the defender on his heels, draws the foul. Two shots. Last on the first. That free throw good from Booker. Harden, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Free throws good from Booker. 58 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. 
Irving against Payton. Pass to Harden. From deep. The rebound by Payton. Phoenix has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Now here's Smith. Inside. McGee finds Smith. And a miss there on the triple. Brooklyn has gone one of six from three-point range here in the third. Not the result they're looking for. Griffin passes to Irving. Here's Bembry, covered by Smith. Pass to Harden. This one for three. Phoenix grabs the miss. Smith's got six rebounds now in the game. Booker for three. Drills it from deep. Booker's got 23. In this situation, Devin Booker on the catch will never hesitate. And so it's Phoenix. A huge 24-point lead for them. It hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points. They're winning with efficiency. We'll be right back. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt. Bismack Biombo is out there with Cameron Johnson. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Suns. And Doris, the league still working on a mid-season tournament. I'm anxious to hear your thoughts on that. You know what, B.A., because we have just so recently instituted the play-in tournament that has had such a great impact on late-season games, I would rather the league stand pat as is for the next few years, and let's see where this play-in tournament ultimately lands. Shooting two. For me, right now, I am opposed to adding that mid-season tournament. First free throw is good. Bridges, he's checked in for the Suns. Harden hits them both. Phoenix has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. Ball against Harden. There's a screen by Biombo. And stolen by Edwards. Mills with it. Pass to Harden. Back to Mills. The three ball. Yes. And a nice assist from Harden. Harden's got three assists in the game. I'll tell you, you are playing with fire any time you leave this guy open, and they just got burned. Now here's Biombo. Not a lot of room. Outside Paul. There's a screen by Biombo. Five on the clock. Over Harden. And another basket for Phoenix. Yeah, showing a little versatility with their offensive attack. In the first half, it was about the three ball. In the second half, they've emphasized interior scoring. Well, just tremendous composure on the interior. Read the defense, take advantage of the situation, and deliver. Johnson inside, guarded by Edwards. Johnson passes to Paul. It's Booker on the wing. For three, another three for Phoenix. Challenging this D with the three ball. That's his second from distance this half. And he also hit one in the first half, too. Pass to Harden. 
Well, super teams are still being built. Grant, what's the key to making it work with three or four guys who all need touches? Well, it comes down to good communication between your leaders. Of course, you have to have a plan. You can't be out there winging it. And of course, prioritizing wins over stats always works. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Well, as usual, this guy cooking on the offensive end, but right now, the other guys on his team have got to step forward. Now here's Biombo. He's covered by Aldridge. Pass to Paul. On the take. Here's Biombo. Goes back up. And it's good on the lay-in. Biombo's got four points now in the quarter. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Harden against Paul. Gets stolen by Johnson. Outside Paul. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Paul's got 25 points in the game. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Pass to Bembry. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. It's one thing to prevent the layup. It's another to do it without fouling. Just terrific defense. Knocks it down from distance. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Brooklyn making some changes. Johnson, he's checked in for Edwards. Brown comes in for Bembry. And it's Carter in for Harden. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Aldridge finds Johnson. Will it go? Hauled in by Paul. Phoenix has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Stolen by Mills. On the break. Carter, good. Great teamwork on that drive. Punctuated by a strong finish. Going right to the rim, which is where you want transition opportunities to end. That's a foul called on Cameron Johnson. Going the other way. That's foul number two for him. 
You know, at the end of last season, Doris, we saw some teams rest their entire starting lineup to avoid playoff matchups. You know, it was interesting, B.A. There were a lot of people who took exception to this strategy. But to me, as long as it's within the rules, every team has the right to make the best decisions possible to set themselves up for postseason success. It is their livelihood on the line day after day. You know, we've seen him just tear after the rebounds tonight. No fear. You have to love that effort. Booker goes in, shoots over Mills. Booker, good. Booker's got 33 points. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. Pass to Carter. Back to Mills. Now Carter. Driving in. No good. Ooh, good work defensively by Biombo. And Booker gets double teamed. Here's Biombo. Clock at six. Back to Booker. Beyond the arc. Not going to go that time. And Brooklyn going the other way now. Outside, Brown. Back to Mills. Nice D from Paul. Listen, he can make that shot right there, but I do know they have other options they can go to. He takes it in, lays it up, and banks it in. Paul's got four points in the quarter. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets here. They set the screen. Drive by Brown. Excellent D there from Booker. And the Suns with possession. They're on an 18 to 6 run. Going inside. There's a screen by Biombo. Outside Paul. Three pointer Bridges. Yes! And it's Paul with the assist that time. After hitting only one from downtown in the first half, he's exploded with three cents. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. And Biombo with the block. Bridges against Brown. And Aldridge with the block. A quick leaper with good instincts. Aldridge can be so disruptive as a defender. Pass to Carter. Outside, Brown. There's a screen by Aldridge. And Biombo with the block. And they're able to recover. You hate to pile on, but his poor shooting night has really hurt the team. To the middle. Here's Johnson. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. You know, guys, that's the selfless attitude of Mikel Bridges. So willing to give it up to an open guy. Got a piece of it. Ball with a steal. And stolen by Aldridge. Bridges against Brown. And Grant, you played for a Suns team that was influential with their training staff's approach. How has sports medicine changed from the early days? You know, B.A., it has changed immensely. Nowadays, every team incorporates that foundation that that Suns medical staff had back in the day. It's all about prevention. It's about recovery. It's the big picture approach to making sure players can not only get through season after season, but have longevity throughout their careers. Here's Brown. And he drops it in from the low post. Well, the touch and the focus. What a pretty move in the lane. Bridges, a screen on Johnson. It's Bridges on the wing. Again, the Suns good for two. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Outside, Brown. To the paint. Aldridge down low. Biombo's there. 
Aldridge with the bucket. Yeah, he has a really nice feel from that spot, and the size gives him a clear advantage. Well, sometimes when you've got size, your release point is so high that you're going to get a good look no matter what. <laughs> so close on the finish. I mean, it could have been a three-point opportunity. First one falls. You know, Doris, last season was the Ignite's inaugural run in the G League. You think those elite recruits got the extra seasoning they needed playing on that team? Boy, B.A., what an amazing opportunity for young men. They got to play with real NBA talent. I think it's a system that really could spur the development of young players. Griffin, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Thomas comes in for Carter. That one misses. Boy, the consistent greatness of Chris Paul. Playmaker, scorer, defender, leader. Year after year, Chris Paul silences any doubt about his place in this game. Here's Brown. And that one's long. Phoenix has gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. And here's Booker. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Blake Griffin picks one up. Yeah, Devin Booker, shiftiness, gets himself into the paint. So aggressive, and it pays off. First one falls for him. Peyton's checked in for Chris Paul. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And Grant, throughout your career, you mostly played in the smaller markets. You think the league is doing enough to help them compete? I think so. I mean, look, Milwaukee just won a championship. An incredible season they had last year. I think they're doing the right thing between revenue sharing, the salary cap, the luxury tax. And remember, the players' union will always favor freedom of movement for its players. Just two to shoot. Mills. Hauled in by McGee. McGee's got five rebounds in the game. Booker, the pass to Payton. He got a piece of it. And there's 138 left in the game. Johnson a screen on Booker. Thomas misses. They've got a commanding lead. It just seems like everything is going their way. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Suns. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. And they have to feel pretty good about themselves taking the first two games of the season between these teams. We've come to expect big-time games from him. Just another day at the office for Devin Booker. Efficient productivity. You love what this guy has given to you on the offensive end. Here's Peyton. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. You got to give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. There's the screen by Johnson. Pass to Thomas. Just five on the clock. And here's Mills over Peyton. Cash. Mills with the bucket. 20 seconds left in the final quarter. Outside Peyton. Oh, 
So no problem for Phoenix as they get the win. Showing that they're the far superior team. They win it going away. I'll tell you what. Give it up for their fans. They love to watch this team dominate. You best believe they're all going home happy tonight. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and our entire crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in as New Balance presents our player of the game, Devin Booker.